Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So, in the last uh, episode we made some progress. Oh, I, I don't want to unpause it, not just yet. I have to look around. So, in the last episode we, I think we built the electronics factory and basically started this uh, other dome here. And now we are facing uh, with some resource uh, shortage and that we have an overly elder popula population. The good news is, because I think on that, we have more than enough people to restart. We started with uh, 12 uh, colonists and now we have uh, 20 who, who are not older than adults. So that's a good thing. The bad thing that we have to restrict uh, workplaces, so we have to juggle with the workforce a little bit. But uh, I have to have space so the people can expand. And I think our main thing, our main goal will be to build another dome here and also start some kind of terraforming. Uh, so we can counter the catastrophes we are facing. And... And first of all, we need a dumping site. That's one thing. Let's check on the resource. Factory AI. Yeah, we, we really need that. And I decided that we also need... Oh! It is in the line. Okay. Well, this will take ages. And we can save, save scum uh, meteor showers. So I think I move this up. Also, with more people, we can risk to build a research facility and a university. That would be very, very helpful. So, just not to forget about, let's put down the other basic dome here. Preferably to have two vistas. And stop. Don't build that. Well, I think we were uh, looking at this for quite a while. Now. We need heavy workloads. Because we need a lot of polymers. And I think we have already researched the GHG factory and we can build it but it has a high maintenance mm. with all these the machine parts maintenance is already skyrocketing and we don't have enough uh, people to work At least we have uh, food. It's not a really, really high priority to restart this mine, at least for now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. New event. Total recall. You are contracted by Douglas Quaid. Of course. A strong beard earthling with a thick accent. His request seems non-essential, uh, non but uh, somehow you feel that you trust the guy. Uh, I wish I could <laughs> make a good Arnold impression. My whole life I felt like I had to go to Mars. I've kept dreaming about the place and now I have the money to do it. 
but I need your aid. Something big has uh, got on these coordinates. All in all, Douglas Kidd wants you to organize an expedition to the coordinates where his little craft would land. Uh, what would happen there is anyone's guess. Okay, let's accept the proposal. Douglas Creed no, uh, nods in approval and rewards you with a wide, charming smile. He then sends you the coordinates of the spot uh, he will land. Now it's up to you to hold your promise. A new planetary anomaly expedition has been added. Let's send an expedition to it to follow Douglas Creed's success. Okay. I think that's, that's the mystery or that's just a random event. I have never encountered this event before. Oh, we have to send five colonists. That hurts. Really, really hurts. But it's just a quick excursion, so... Let's see. Sector scanned. The vibration shook the entire colony. The epicenter of a tremor was registered at the exact location where Douglas uh, Quaid led the expedition team and they are responding. The expedition is delayed. Damn it. But they are just delayed. Okay, let's check on polymer plates situation here or maybe maybe I should build another no let's take care of power if that was a huge mistake or not. The artifact. Douglas Creed reporting in the expedition team is alive and the report seems like something of a movie. The expedition landed at the coordinates after a short search. Douglas Creed came across a west underground cave. They found the inverse alien artifact some sort of a machine. Quaid approached it and pressed something which started the machine. The tremors caused the rock uh, to cave in, nearly burying the team alive, but they uh, made it to safety. The artifact somehow generated uh, or revealed previously unknown resources, making Mars a bit more hospitable for sentient beings. Of course, Douglas uh, Quaid chose exactly what we needed. Let's go with more water deposits. Because of the sandstorm. Sector scanned. Milestone achieved. Well, it didn't really help us, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's full. Well, I think we should turn these off. 
or do a couple of that's that's why we need uh the gag factory so we can use the fuel have the means to produce it well if uh, if machine parts uh, gets really low we can we can just turn it off right this makes dust let's put it right there Sector scanned. Let's check on other uh, planetary anomalies. We can have a breakthrough. I think we should try this expedition. Maybe we can have the forever young. Resources are low. A breakthrough, and if we research that, that means all our senior citizens can work and uh, have children. Or we can find a positronic brain and we can make colonists who are basically immortal. Yeah, that, uh, that 0.25% per soul will last until we reach 25%. Oh, a new anomaly. Oh, uh, research one. Breakthrough discovered. Martian diet. All colonists consume 24% less food. Well, that's a great one. It would be very, very helpful right now, but it costs a lot of research points. What's that? Well, that means we don't have to build new mines or every, every extractor will continue producing some stuff. I don't know, maybe, but we don't have uh, enough people to man everything. Okay, guys, we have a huge problem. This water extractor is just emptied and now we're drinking our reserves that happened quicker than I expected which means we have to run now on uh, moisture evaporators I quickly stop the production of fuel there so we will consume less water and we have to build at least two of it Thankfully, we have only an approaching cold wave, and we will uh, soon increase our storage capacity. What's the average health here? Still good. This moisture evaporator is ready. That one doesn't have any. Okay, now let's put that into the system. Okay. 
Okay. Ähm. Oh, just two. Then quickly upgrade these. And I think we can prevent the catastrophe that way. Okay, but this is night time. But I think the problem... The problem will be here. As far as electricity goes. Let's uh, put down two more solar panels. Which can help uh, during daytime. And I think we have to turn off the amplify upgrades. We need the factory AI upgrade here. I put all the factory uh, upgrade uh, AIs, all of the, our factories, well, except for the fuel refineries. Now, I don't like these split power grids because we can see the the whole thing and not just uh, not one power with the other. Okay, can we? It would be so good. Oh, cycle grid. That it says number of grids is three. Over production. Sector scan. Over command. And the cold baby will last for six souls. And not even daytime. And this won't be enough. Well, we are starting to play a dangerous game here, and I think we need a few more solar panels as well. So at least during daytime. Crop failure reported. Yeah, and there's that. We just cannot produce any food here. Okay, we still have water. Okay, now we're not ready for this dome. We have water shortage. Not here. Then here. Yeah, for some reason. Oh, it's a different crop. Which means uh, we will need another moisture evaporator as well. We don't have enough power here as well. Okay, so. Turning this, uh, this one off. And... Turning off the shuttles for for a for a little bit. And we have water problems as well. Okay, guys. In all of this crisis, we have the Watcher event. A faint signal was traced to originate from the high mountain just outside our colony's incident. The signal seems harmless, but we but can very well uh, being a spying device. We ignore it. Let's send a colonist in a shuttle to investigate. Okay, and just 
to be frank with you, I'm started to save spam this. Our explorer discovered an old device hidden in a cave. It's of a terrestrial origin, perhaps a relic of the old space race. Uh, upon nearing it, the device transmitted the following. I have been here for a hundred years. Uh, I have observed and gathered information for all this time. I know secret uh, activities and weather patterns, yet no one uh, to share them with. For I have been forgotten and I am bored. Now that I am fully awake once more, I plan to end my existence and execute my self destruct protocol. That's also uh, every time a, a curious thing, uh, this, this self destruct things. I haven't recalled that NASA ever installed a self-destruct device on any rover they sent to Mars. How interesting is that? Before I do that, however, I shall test if you are deserving the data I have shared. I have to share. I shall tell you a simple video and answer it and you, will know, uh, and you will know all I know. Fail and you will be destroyed along with me. Until I am measured, I am not known yet. I miss me when I have flown. Pizza. Well, light was known because you can see sunset. And, uh, I I think it's time. Because how you miss when I have flown. Okay. Well, I I, I just saved scam it. I know I, I will have a different riddle. The AI seems pleased with the answer and gave our clonist uh, a head start before executing self-destruction. A huge package of data has been sent to our servers. We will scan the files for uh, malicious software and then truly go through them. Yes. Research complete. Oh, and we leaped towards a meteor defense system. Okay, that's great. Uh, we have a few new things here. Okay. What to research next? This is a good one. Oh yes, we cannot build shuttle hubs yet. This would be also nice, so we can get our hands on another big pile of research points if we if we invest in that. Let's risk it. Let's risk it and. Let's leave these here, or wait a minute, that's cheaper. And sooner or later we will uh, need this. Okay, and now we're just trying to survive the cold wave. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Move away. And you also move away. No! 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 Are you? Are you serious? Oh, 
Oh great, because we turned this one off. Sector scanned. Okay, we need the shuttles back online. Oh, and it's frozen. Damn it. Okay, let's... Put the rock formation there as well. And another rock formation there, and we will put one between of these two once they emptied that stuff. Oh, hold on a minute. Do we have electronics here? No, no, so we cannot fix those. Where? Ah, there you are. So, get five electronics. On board, and hurry yourself here. Also, how much uh, cost the tunnel? Dirty. That's a lot of machine parts. And one tunnel wouldn't be enough. I am thinking of uh, connecting uh, these two colonies. That means we have a penalty on birth. Wonderful. Come on, unload that. And you can fix that shit. Hell yeah! And we are running Sector low. Scan. Okay. You are getting back here to work. A new Resources anomaly. Okay. And let's stop for an effing moment. And we have. Because this has no power. Because these are more functioned and okay. Now get five polymer there immediately. Meteor shower incoming. Great. Uh, I, I really needed that. So quickly save scam. Crop failure reported. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. Colonists are starving. Troubling. Hmm. 
we can eat waste rocks. So, what's with the shuttles? Oh, only when the cold wave has ended. Damn it. New planetary anomalies. Okay, let's check them out. We'll have a breakthrough here. Unknown. Unknown. I don't like the unknown. Okay, at least the cold wave had ended. And the meteor storm is moving uh, right on us. And I switch the building so we can house more colonists here. Which will help to man all the factories and other facilities around here. Now everything looks like in working order. Let's check on the electronics factory. Yeah, it needs maintenance. But the machine parts are here, hopefully. And you can fix everything here. And also upgrade this guy. Okay, the meteor storm hitting that part. That's good. Especially if we can have uh, a research anomaly, maybe. That would great be great. Dust storm approaching. Oh, that's not good. Okay, dust storm. Think, think. Uh, Oh wow. We might be have some difficulties with oxygen here. Not 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 a big problem, no. I wouldn't say that. Okay, we are cycling the grid, but uh, I cannot see any change. So we have to calculate. 0.7 oxygen per hour. So, well... Either way, we are effed. Well, maybe it can pump up uh, a great deal of oxygen. Okay, we basically need 24 oxygen for a soul. Let's make it 20 because we don't have that high demand of oxygen. Uh, and that means... So let's, let's be precise. Uh, 0 0.7 multiplied by 24. That's 14, 6, 17. I think it's 17 per soul. Let's multiply that with 5. That's 50, that's 80. So we need around uh, uh, 100 stored. We are dead. I don't know. Sector scanned. Well, this produces. Uh, it will be close.
it will be close. And we didn't calculate it leaks. Okay, we have metals here. How about here? Do we have metals here? No. Then sorry, but you have to bring the metals here. Uh, we can start that. We don't have shuttle transport during the dust storm. Resources are low. They are fixing it, but during the dust storm, it won't matter. I hope now you can manage to grow some crops. Okay, we have a hundred oxygen. That will last for five or six souls. Of course, unless we have leaks. Okay, we have a lot of metal here. So, let's get back up here. What's that? I was uh, visioning a lot of polymer there. Okay, guys, fingers crossed. Hell no. Thank you. But no, thank you. Get away. Okay, just three souls. And then we can uh, switch back the amplify thing is okay. We are in a big fucking trouble. We don't have water here. And I cannot get uh, water. So, we'll see. What we can do, because there wasn't enough water to begin with. I build that and we will see. What? Why don't you fix that? No metals here. What the, have you done with them? All the metal we had. You had 15 metal.
The door to somewhere. Doesn't sound appealing story. Empty, empty. Okay, these guys will gonna die. Now I'm thinking uh, how much we should restart this game. Because I think this this uh, plate is a failure. And I don't know if it's uh, worth to to try and beat a half that horse. Well, we'll see we'll see what happens uh, when the dust storm uh, moves away. We see what we can salvage. How about that? And of course, I did also a huge, died. a huge mistake. Uh, because I should have built this kind of microdome and put all the... Uh, solar panels and other energy producing thingies like like these sterling generators there the colonist has died well the question remains who will live but without oxygen i think that uh, dome will be wiped out And they still don't fix that leak? What the hell? A colonist has died. The recent colonist deaths are a worrisome trend which cannot be ignored. While the applicants who came to Mars were aware of many risks that would await them, the near criminal neglect of our side is something different. We cannot keep this information from the public and opinions are swaying in the direction that our colony is a death trap. This troublesome rumor deters many valuable candidates uh, from coming to a new frontier and there are people with desperate need to fulfill the great mission of colonizing Mars and bringing our vision. Each time a colony dies from a non-neutral death, two applications leave the pool. They can leave it. I cannot bring them here, so it doesn't matter. Colonist has died. And you also have no metals. Where all the metal have gone? Okay, I think I think uh I reload here at the end of the cold wave and the main problem here was uh, that I left uh, sector scanned resources are low I left something turned off we still have water problems here Which cannot be helped. And we will have starvation here, so at least we are aware of that. So let's bring some food over there.
Yeah, and I really neglected collecting uh, metals. I think we can salvage the situation from here. Maybe. Let's let's try it. I know we desperately need metals. And maybe I should build this metal extractor and put at least one people there. Okay, if there are a homeless guy there, then let's just build up Meteor shower incoming. this apartment. Come on, clear that building, good. Okay, there's the meteor shower. And I'm positive that... Crop failure reported. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environment okay, that went, planet that meets uh, the eye. better than last time. Much, much better. Okay. Sector scanned. We have the ramp. No, then let's finish it. I don't care, you are you're doing heavy workload non-stop. And I don't let, I shouldn't let. These tanks to empty more. Okay. Now we are doing the emergency metal reserves. So we can bring metal here and to the other side. And you, my friend, moving back here, and the other guy is here, okay. Sector scanned. You have metals right now, okay. Resources are low. I 
the building is already freezed, so... Meteor incoming. Research complete. Oh! Is that the meteor storm? Yes, it is hitting us. I just know it. Okay, guys. Uh, I tell you what. We load this save again. Sector scanned. Stopping for a moment. Why do you do that? Now. We know all the errors we have made. So. We can fix everything. Quickly and efficiently. That's one thing. Then we need... Five and five. Let's go ahead, load them. Come on. Suck those resources up. We can suck some food. Resources are low. That's enough. And dump all of that there so they can fix everything that's frozen solid okay then we can do that we have to scan that anomaly And when you are here, you will... Uh... You will take five electronics. Do we need electronics anywhere here? I don't think so. Maybe we just take all of the electronics. No, that's... That's nonsense. Uh, I'm speaking stupid things. And on the way, let's take some uh, metals. Meteor shower incoming. Okay, we will s get all the metals we can. Crop failure reported. It's also not good that no, but they cannot produce food here. You have to fix that. But they fix something else. That means I have to bring more machine parts over. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the going back there. Whoa, not much metal left here. Also, finish this ramp, please. Okay, now, we put everything Sector down there. Scanned.
Okay. Need more machine parts. How much metal do we have here? We're pretty good with metals. Of course! And all the drones are dead. No, there is only one survivor. That was really, really unlucky. Come on, start to fix things. Sector scanned. Yeah, no kidding. Resources are low. Okay, fixing all the things. I hope the meteor shower will avoid us. Okay, get all the metals. Bring it down there, here, right there. Okay, guys, fingers crossed. I hope it avoids us this time around. Did I save it? I don't think so. I'm stressed. Okay, it is hitting that Research part. complete. It's hitting that part. I don't have much metal here. Which is a huge problem because we will have a... What is... What? 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 The fuck are you doing? This ramp wasn't finished. Maybe it wasn't finished at that time. Okay. Where are the shuttles? Okay, there they there go. We need shorter cold waves. Thing. Okay, that's great. That's not great. It's closing towards us, and I don't like that. Oh boy. doing with metals here great dust storm approaching great Of course, I forget to do this. Okay, let's see if we can survive the great dust storm.
But if there will be some migration, it won't be too much of a problem. Okay, now we have enough. Yeah. I don't like these uh, catastrophes back to back. You have to start thinking terraforming because that could uh, uh, that could help us with disasters. The power is the power is good here. We should turn this back on. We'll see. The problem is uh, water and oxygen. Not currently, but it will be a problem. Uh, let's check the power. The power is good. Yeah, some folks move here. Okay, how much metal do we have here? We have 22, okay. And how much metal do we have here? We have 21. Sector scanned. Okay, there's the first leak. Plug it. Of course, every time the oxygen is... message is forwarded uh, to your inbox with the most curious title, Flat Mars Society. Think it is a mere joke, you read through it and find out that a colonist by the name of Hu uh, Sanchez, Sanchez, who is born on Mars and has never been to space, is propagating the notion that Mars is indeed flat along with other conspiracy theories which naturally accompany, accompany such idea. Hu Sanchez uh, has broke no laws thus far, but perhaps something should be done. I'm sure the colonists are reasonable enough to not board that wacky train. Yeah, we have run out of water. That happens. We are running out of metal again.
We're running out of metal here. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I, it doesn't feel I can make this work. Sector scanned. Because it turned out I did make two huge mistakes. I didn't use uh, the heavy workload early enough, uh, and I let around thirty or some days pass with uh, uh, with penalty of the burst rate. And also not putting these into a dome. That was also another mistake. And I should have known better. Yeah, we have run out of uh, resources. We cannot fix uh, our stuff. We don't have uh, enough metal to supply our colony. Maybe it was a dumb idea a to move in here. Died. Yeah, that doesn't help either, that we moved here. Okay guys, I think at this point I can, uh, I can call this uh, a failure. That we didn't manage to do it. I think there will be a restart in order. But I'm not entirely sure I want to do that uh, right away. Maybe I just uh, leave it there because, because I have other games in mind to play and I can't wait to, to get my hands on them. And, and sometimes you have to face uh, a failure. And this is indeed a very, very difficult challenge. I think I will try this uh, again, maybe this year, but not not uh, immediately. And I, I also think I should play uh, on my own time a little bit before before I start recording, just to get back uh, uh, into the setting and and have the tricks uh, in my mind. Of course, I, I know a lot of tricks. This was very, very helpful with the uh, Dust Devils uh, that some of you suggested that these uh, rock formation actually works. Uh, and that also helps with the, uh, the waste rock problem. We don't have to keep uh, that many uh, dumping sites because we can dump right into these uh, and basically... A colonist has died. Basically, we can defend our colony. We had the water problems. We have, we have yeah, that's that's the 100, uh, 1 hundred, one thousand person difficulty for you. I still hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I see you next week. Bye.